We, that's right, all of us, need plants to survive, as do animals. This makes them one of the most important resources of them all. Big flowers, this is the look that you can expect to have for years and years to come. Which is why it's so odd that so many of them are so cute and dainty. But not all of them. Some are able to grow to extraordinary sizes. These are the biggest flowers you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Titanarum Native to the Indonesian island of Sumatra, the Titanarum produces the largest flowering structure in the world. Incredibly, the central growth, which is made up of clusters of flowers, can be more than 10 feet tall. Just look at the size of this thing! This is bigger than I ever imagined! But seeing one of these can be quite rare, and after then, it can be between 3 and 10 years before it will bloom again. There's a very short time to see it in its full glory too, because it begins to wilt within 12 hours of opening, and can be completely gone within just 2 days. The plants have learned to take advantage of this time to attract insects, to collect and transport the pollen as efficiently as possible, and emit a disgusting, potent smell. It's got this crazy, disgusting smell. They're often called corpse flowers because of the putrid odor, but this draws in insects that either eat or lay their eggs in rotting meat. To further encourage the spread of this smell, the plants produce a large amount of heat that ensures it disperses into the air, which means you don't have to be very close to the titanarum before you're fully aware that there's one growing nearby. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Rafflesia arnoldi the Rafflesia arnoldi is known for producing the largest single flowers of any plant species on Earth. Endemic to the islands of Sumatra and Borneo, they are one of Indonesia's national flowers and grow deep within the rainforests. It's rare to see one in the wild, but when you do, there's nothing quite like it. They rely on insects to pollinate, so emit a horrendous smell of death to attract them into the flower, which has led to them also being known as the corpse lily. The flower itself will grow to around 3.3 feet in diameter, and can weigh as much as 24 pounds. Hence the common name of the corpse flower. It smells of rotting meat. Furthermore, these don't emerge from large plant structures, but instead are a species that lives as a parasite on several types of vines. There are, therefore, no leaves, stems, or roots, and they instead grow strands in a similar way to a fungus that take the nutrients they need from the plants that they're growing on. Rafflesia arnoldi are difficult to find in the rainforests. Their buds take many months to grow, and when they're ready to open, they are only able to collect enough nutrients to support the massive flowers for several days at a time. Number 13. Calipot Palm Flower Native to India and Sri Lanka, but also commonly grown in other countries around Southeast Asia, the talipot is a species of palm that can grow to up to 82 feet tall. And in the upper reaches, it produces a cluster of flowers over a network of branches that can be up to 26 feet long. This mound contains millions of small flowers and is the largest such structure produced by any plant in the world. Amazingly, each talipot palm will only produce one of these once in their lives. They grow for between 30 and 80 years before they're ready to bloom, and at the same time, they will also produce thousands of small yellow fruits that take around a year to fully ripen. Once the fruit are ready and begin to fall, the tree's use is over, and it will die soon after. Not only are these trees stunning to look at, but they're also very important to the local traditions of the region. For centuries, their leaves have been used as writing parchment, in particular for transcribing religious texts, as well as being vital ingredients in a number of herbal remedies for the incantations made by soothsayers. Number 12. Pando Pando, which is also called the Trembling Giant, might look at first to be a forest of different individual trees, but is actually one single organism, which is connected by a huge sprawling underground root network. It's on the western edge of the Colorado Plateau in Utah, and covers an area of 106 acres.
genetic analysis has proved that all the different parts are part of the same whole, and is thought to be one of the oldest living organisms in the world, at more than 80,000 years old, and the heaviest living structure with an estimated weight of at least 6,600 tons. Despite its age, and the fact it's been alive for almost as long as people have been on the planet, there are signs that suggest Pando is slowly dying, although the causes for this aren't entirely clear. It's thought it's happening as a result of drought, human activity, and wildfire damage, and hasn't grown any larger for the last 30 years. It's quite likely that Panda won't be around for much longer, so the race is on to study it in as much detail as possible to understand this mysterious network of trees, and hopefully help to protect any similar formations in the future. Number 11. Posidonia Oceanica Posidonia oceanica, as the name would suggest, is a species of underwater seagrass that grows in the Mediterranean Sea. It grows in huge meadows, some of which can be up to 5 miles across, and consist of colonies of millions of individuals, some of which are thought to be up to 100,000 years old. In total, they cover about 3% of the floor of the Mediterranean, which is the equivalent to 15,000 square miles. They grow between depths of 3 and 115 feet. As long as the water is clear enough, and grow large, ribbon-like leaves that can be almost 5 feet long. Each shoot can live for up to 30 years, but they are very slow growing, only adding a maximum of 2.4 inches each year. As with many plant species, Posidonia oceanica is thought to be in decline. The waters of the med are becoming increasingly polluted, and it's believed to be particularly susceptible to this. This could cause severe consequences to the local ecosystem. If measures aren't introduced to slow down this reduction, because so many marine animals are reliant on the nutrients they provide, and is responsible for the absorption of most of the region's carbon dioxide. Number 10. Sunflower there are at least 70 different species of sunflower, 67 of which are native to North and Central America. These are going to be nice, delicious sunflower sprouts. They are one of the most easily recognizable flowers on Earth, growing to up to 10 feet tall with a large flower head that's made up of bright yellow florets. While you may think they're named after the sun because of their large yellow blooms, it's actually because they track the sun across the sky during the day, and will always point towards it. This results in huge fields of them moving in tandem with one another, which is one of the most amazing sights in the natural world. The world record size for a sunflower head is an astonishing 32 and a quarter inches, which was grown in British Columbia, Canada. To put that into perspective, it's the same size as three footballs lying end to end. While this record has stood since the 80s, horticulturalists are adamant that it's possible to grow them even bigger, something that climate change will likely help with, so the sunflowers of the future could potentially dwarf the ones that we see today. Number 9. Lotus Lotus flowers are aquatic plants that are native throughout Indochina and East Asia, and have been cultivated for their beautiful appearance and their seeds for more than 3,000 years. It can actually regulate its own heat. Not only that, but it is truly spectacular. Their roots grow in sediment at the bottom of ponds, and they grow thick stems of up to 7 feet long to the water's surface before spreading out, developing large leaves that can be 3 feet in diameter, and huge flowers that can be up to 12 inches across. Amazingly, each lotus flower can live for at least a thousand years if it's kept in the right conditions, and they can even be brought back to life after a period of inactivity. In 1994, for example, a seed that had been harvested from a lotus at least 1,300 years ago was successfully germinated, which makes them one of the hardiest plant species on Earth. As a historically popular plant, they have been bred to bring out desirable qualities Qualities, and there are now at least 1,350 different lotus cultivars, so they are also one of the most unique and varied species of plant too. Number 8. Magnolia 
Magnolias are one of the oldest species of plant in the world, and have been around for so long that they first began growing before bees had evolved. Dating back to around 95 million years ago, they haven't changed much since then, and are one of the most sought-after trees because of their unique aesthetics. They are native to most continents and can grow to anywhere between 15 and 80 feet tall. They have a crown that forms at the top that can be up to 50 feet in diameter, and it's from here that most most of the flowers form. A tree can have hundreds of flowers at a time, each of which are up to three inches wide. It is called uh, Magnolia grandiflora for a real good reason. There are thought to be as many as 100 different varieties, which are different shapes and colors, and they are thought of one of the largest species of ornamental tree on Earth. They look great in any garden or parkland, but there's more to them than just how they appear. The flowers are edible, add a spicy kick to any meal, while the buds are also a common ingredient in Chinese medicine, where they are known as hupo. Number 7. Hibiscus there are several hundred different species of hibiscus that are native to most tropical regions around the world. While they come in a variety of different colors, there's one thing that's common to all of them. They're surprisingly large, showy flowers. The big flowers, this is the look that you can expect to have for years and years to come. They are trumpet-shaped, with at least five petals and a curved edge all around, commonly seen in colors ranging from white and pink to red, orange, yellow, and purple. The flowers alone can be seven inches across. They are a hardy species that can be grown in a range of environments and are popular for use at home because of their vivid colors and the way that they attract butterflies, bees, and possibly even hummingbirds. They also have a series of traditional uses, such as ingredients in Indian medicine, as a garnish or sweet treat in Mexico, and even for producing paper and rope. Hibiscus tea is also very popular worldwide and commonly drunk both for its unique flavor and its health benefits benefits, such as assisting with lowering blood pressure and helping relax after a stressful day. Number 6. Tree Peony there are more than 33 different known species of peony that have originated from across Europe, Asia, and North America. This plant, because of the bloom on it, it is so, so gorgeous. They prefer to grow in cooler climates and won't bloom where there's too much sunlight and warmth. In the perfect conditions, however, they can grow much larger than you might expect and are a popular choice for horticulturalists to add a splash of color to a garden. They are herbaceous plants, and some varieties can grow as tall as 11 feet. The flowers are the main attraction, though, and each shrub will grow a large number of them, each of which has at least 10 to 15 petals arranged in one of six different patterns, and can be 10 inches in diameter. Peonies are a traditional floral symbol in China, where they have been cultivated for hundreds of years, with a particular focus on the ancient city of Luyang, which is said to produce the best peony flowers in the world. Due to their stunning appearance, they have been depicted in artworks and legends throughout the years, and are a popular choice for tattoos in Eastern cultures, often alongside images of koi. Number 5. Quia Raymondii also often known as the Queen of the Andes, is a giant species of bromeliad that's native to Bolivia and Peru. They thrive in high-altitude environments, usually between 9 and 16,000 feet above sea level, where the terrain is covered in rocky slopes and small shrubs. Closely related to pineapples, they stand out above all that surrounds them, with a trunk that can grow to upwards of 16 feet tall, and a rosette that forms at the top that consists of around 200 leaves, which each are around four feet long. The sheeps are just going up until... This entire combined structure of leaves and flowers can itself be 26 feet tall, meaning that the entire plant can reach an excess of 50 feet. Usually, it takes 80 years before they're ready to flower, but when they do, they can bloom as many as 20,000 flowers within a three-month period. Due to the length of their reproductive cycle, this species is now regarded as highly endangered as a result of human activity, climate change, and fires, and efforts are now underway to try and protect them for generations to come. Number 4. Dahlia 
Regarded as one of the most beautiful flowers on Earth because of their almost fractal design, dahlias are native to Mexico and Central America, but are now regularly grown much farther afield. There are 42 different species of dahlia, with countless further hybrids also available. While most grow flower heads that are around 2 inches in diameter, there are some varieties that develop dinner plate sized flowers that are a foot across, or sometimes even more. The stems can grow to up to 8 feet tall, meaning that certain species of dahlias are absolute monsters. Since 1963, they've been the national flower of Mexico. It will lead to more of flowering. And they used to be grown as a food crop in the Americas before the Spanish conquest. It's a relatively easy type of plant to develop hybrids and new versions of, which is why some grow to the size that they do. Showpiece varieties are bred to prioritize size over everything else, and it's likely that this trend will continue, with even larger flowers becoming more and more possible in the future. Number 3. Delphinium Delphinium is a name given to describe more than 300 different species of plant, all of which are native to regions across the northern hemisphere. They thrive particularly well at altitude where other plants struggle, and have long been used in the production of deep blue dyes and medicines. Their name means dolphin, which is thought to have been given to them because of their dolphin-shaped flowers, some of which can grow surprisingly big. The stems of the flower tend to range in height, between several inches and seven feet and they can be a range of colors such as purple, blue, red, yellow, or white. This flower, which is a delphinium, I wouldn't call exactly blue. Flowers tend to have five petals, which grow in a way that forms a spur at one end, and can be several inches across. The reason why delphinium gives such a vibrant display of color, however, is that they grow flowers along the majority of the length of their stalk. If you see any in the wild, though, you should resist the temptation to touch and hold them, because every variety is toxic to both humans and most animals. Number two. Oriental Lilies Oriental Lilies are a specific hybrid strain of lily that are known for their particularly fragrant aroma and large size. They are very easy to grow and prefer to be in direct sunlight, and can soon become more than 36 inches tall, with a head of petals that's 14 inches across or more. Each stem can grow two flowers, with colors ranging from white and pink to purple or red. There are three cultivators of Oriental Lily, known as Stargazer, Little Girl, and Emily. Their thirst for sunlight means they would face towards the sky. Look at that. It's as big as my hand. And are by far the most popular around the world for cutting, or for growing in pots or gardens. Which is all the more surprising, considering the first oriental lilies were grown in the 1970s. They only bloom for two or three weeks a year usually in July or August, and are a wonderful addition to any backyard. Caution must be taken with them, though, because there are some suggestions that they might be toxic to cats. Number 1. Hydrangea with a Greek name that translates to mean water vessel, hydrangeas are either shrubs or trees that are native to Asia and the Americas. There are 75 different species, with the greatest diversity across Asia, and each has slightly different color variations and maximum sizes. Hydrangea trees grow up the trunks of other trees and can reach heights of up to 100 feet in the right conditions. Each individual can grow hundreds of flowers when it's time to bloom and look like giant purple vines twisting through gardens and forests. This is called a mop head or the big rounded head macrophylla hydrangea. They are extremely popular ornamental plants around the world, and there are at least 600 different named cultivars. Beyond being just a decorative flower, there's also a number of medicinal uses for them too, but they shouldn't be ingested in too high a quantity. The stems, roots, and the flowers of the plant contain a small amount of naturally produced cyanide, and if enough of this is allowed to build up in the body, it can lead to serious health complications and potentially death. Which of these flowers surprised you the most, and have you ever seen any of them in real life? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!